General. I've arrived on Nar Shadda. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. After Terrace and Ord Mantell, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now. The project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we had no business exploring, using technology to turn ordinary men into living weapons. The Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head-on. The Sith have the Force on their side. No ordinary soldier can match that. We're closer than you might think. Nar Shadda has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor, and weapons. Everything we need to create the Power Guards. There's also a distinct lack of government oversight. You're in hot territory, neutral space. Laws are practically non-existent. The fewer rules I have to deal with, the better. That's what we thought when we started this mess. I placed a single operative in charge of the Power Guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits to fund the program. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. Darth Angrel's henchman on Coruscant said all our research facilities were compromised. Our operative's name and contact data were in the file stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. I can only assume they're dead or captured. I'll hunt down Angrel's people. They won't live to regret this. Your top priority is shutting down the Power Guard project. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on Nar Shadda. The Bureau Chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raikin. Promenade, shop, secret turbo lift. Got it. <laughs> I feel like a spy already. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Barsuthra, out. That's the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. We don't know that. We know Agent Galen was captured. He's telling the enemy where to hit us. If it makes you feel better, transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. The Jedi who eliminated Watcher One. Glad to meet you. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. Wish I had better news to report. We're fumbling in the dark right now. Sounds like your agents are in trouble. My subordinates jumping at shadows. Hazard of the business. Here's what little I know. Agent Galen came here to secure a top secret operation. Something hidden even from us. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Fortunately, he left a trail we can follow. What do you know about the person Galen was after? The General said it was the operative in charge of his project. More than that, I don't know. Galen left coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. Had to pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. Thank goodness. For a second I thought this might be too easy. I sent the Omega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. The enemy may be trying to flush you into the open, make you easier to pick off. Running and regrouping is better than waiting to die. Evacuating this facility is out of the question. We're safe here, and we have a mission to complete. I've marked the locations of Agent Galen's dead drops. Download his messages to your holo and contact me. I'll decode them. Let's get some answers. Good luck. Chief Riken, I've downloaded all of Agent Galen's coded messages. Transmitting a decryption signal to your holo? To scrambling? Hmm. Times and locations, standard tracking details. And one priority holo. Playing that back now. Found our lead operative. Dead. He'd been tortured. The Power Guard data files are missing. No clues to the main facility's location, but there was evidence of a recruitment center here. The project was using refugees as test subjects. The recruitment center's my best shot at finding the main facility. I'm going in. Leaving the site's coordinates just in case. Galen out. Took guts going in there alone. Not sure what's worse. 
The enemy stealing our weapons project, or us experimenting on refugees. I'm shocked General Varsuthra permitted illegal testing. With all the layers of secrecy, he probably didn't know. Agent Galen, or whoever got him, holds the key to recovering the Power Guard project. The trail ends at that recruitment center. You need to get inside there, find out what's happened. Good luck, Raikonaut. You'll be all right. I'm here to help. Chief Riken, the recruitment center was overrun with Imperials. No sign of Agent Galen, but I've just freed some refugees. Not refugees. Heroes. These people put their lives on the line for victory over the Empire. Name's Velnarok. Been recruiting volunteers for the Power Guard project since it started. Those people asked to become test subjects? The Empire stole their homeworlds. They jumped at the chance for payback. Over the years, hundreds of people volunteered for the Power Guard experiments. Heroes. All of them. How many Power Guards are there? What are they like? That's way above my security level. But I've heard they're amazing. Even stronger than a Jedi. Don't know how the Empire found us. But they control the whole project now. I don't care how many Imperials I have to kill. They're not getting away with this. You'd better hurry. Imperials are taking people for testing to the main lab. It's in the red light sector. Not sure exactly where. That's one of the busiest parts of Nar Shadda. We'll never find the lab. I've heard it's the only building with a dedicated energy reactor. Does that help? Absolutely. Contact me when you're in the red light sector. I'll have a plan. Riken out. I'll get these volunteers to safety. I hope you kill every last one of those Imperials. I'm in the red light sector. You have a plan for finding that main lab? If the Power Guard facility has a dedicated reactor, it's immune to energy fluctuations affecting the power grid. My team is monitoring energy readings in that sector. All you have to do is cause some fluctuations. Applying a lightsaber to the right power conduits ought to do the trick. If I disrupt power to an entire city sector, innocent people might be injured. Trust me, no one there is innocent. Regardless, the fluctuations will be short-lived and harmless. Sending coordinates to key power conduits. Hit them all, and we'll get a fix on that power guard main lab. And be careful. The red light sector may look civilized, but it's nothing of the sort. Riken out. Only one building in the sector maintained a steady energy supply when you disrupted those power conduits. That has to be the main lab. Sending coordinates now. Aside from Agent Galen and the test subjects, we have no idea what you'll face in there. How will you play this? Every Imperial in there will die. I'll make sure of it. With luck, you'll catch the opposition off guard. You're in for a hell of a fight. Here goes nothing. Contact me when it's done. Riken out. We've been waiting for you, Jedi. Darth Angril told me you defeated Watcher One and Inquisitor Farav. Impressive. Explains why you're not here. Scared, huh? Even my Padawan is laughing at you. You must be so embarrassed. You killed good men at that recruitment center. Loyal soldiers. The best. They served evil. The galaxy won't miss them. No one will miss you, either. I promised Commander Grawl he could execute you personally. And I left him a few gifts to help. Mark I Power Guards, not as destructive as the later models I possess, but quick to assemble and quite malleable. It took nothing to wipe their useless minds and program them to serve me. If those people are already dead, at least I won't have to hold back. We're too late, Riken. Darth Angrel's apprentice raided the lab. There's nothing left here. I found an encrypted data pad on an Imperial officer. Looks important. It may have information on where the enemies moved to. Bring the data pad back to headquarters. 
My slicers will crack the decryption. We'll have to move fast to stop the enemy. Hurry. I warned him. I told Raikin this base was compromised. The Chief's dead. They're all dead. What, what were those things? This location was secret. You had security, safeguards. They knew our passcodes and overrides. It took them only seconds to get down here. You kept us out of the loop, hid the power guard facility, never told us about these weapons. We stayed, supported your mission when we should have evacuated. These deaths are on you. If you want to yell at someone, call Varsutra. He authorized the project. Everyone responsible for this should be brought up on charges. With Raikin dead, I'm acting bureau chief. This operation's over. Agent Diaz, we're leaving now. Sorry, friend, but you're on your own. Sorry, friend, but I'm in charge now. Well, that's one way to end a conversation. It's the perfect response for uncooperative people. Agent Diaz, decrypt this Imperial data pad right now. Uh, y yes, I'll get right on it. Decryption complete. The enemy took everything from the power guard lab to a fallback position. I recognize these coordinates. An Imperial-controlled factory on the industrial level. What's the Empire doing with a factory on Nar Shadda? The enemy is manufacturing all kinds of war material. Weapons, armor, shields. Stars only know what they're doing with the power guards. You hit me! I can't believe you actually hit me! If you know what's good for you, shut up. But I... All right. Sir, I recommend we inform General Varsuthra. We need immediate reinforcements. I've marked the enemy's fallback position. Good luck down there. Let's go, Agent Diaz. You shouldn't have come. He'll make me hurt you. He already forced me to give up my fellow agents. Now they're all dead. Agent Galen? What happened to you? When I resist, the pain... He always wins. I'll break his control over you. I promise. Too late. He's here. Nothing more irritating than a Jedi who won't die. Your constant interruptions must end. Your former ally will be your executioner. The new Agent Galen's power is matched only by his obedience. Face me yourself, or are you scared you'll wind up like Tarnas? Tarnas was a child, like you. Beneath me. Galen, destroy my enemy. No, I'd rather die. Control factor six initiated. <coughs> Neural override complete. Launching elimination protocol. Target, Jedi. I told you, he always wins. damage you did finally spread to the neural overrides. Only temporary, though. I can already feel my systems repairing themselves. Tell me how to free you from the Sith's control. You can't remove the machines without killing me. But I don't matter anymore. The Sith Lord, Lord Static, has the Republic's Mark III power guards, cybernetically enhanced soldiers armed with advanced weapons. Static plans to build hundreds more, all controlled by him an army to conquer Nar Shadda. I doubt the locals will lay down without a fight. The Huts are cowards. In the end, they'll surrender to save their fat hides. Sadik's building his army in Shadowtown, an Imperial-controlled sector. Nastiest people on Nar Shadda. And that's saying a lot. I'll give you the coordinates. Ah! Neural overrides restarting. There's nothing else to do. Kill me! No. There must be a way to free you. Give me time to defeat Sadek. Free me? From this? Even without Sadek controlling me, I won't live like this. Hold on, Galen. We need to face Sadek together. We're the only people who can bring him to justice for what he's done. Are you with me? I don't know how long I can resist his commands, but I'll try. Safer if we don't travel together, just in case. 
I'll meet you inside Static's base in Shadowtown. Hurry. We don't have much time. You're strong to have made it this far, but not strong enough. I am more than Sith now. Much more. He's tall. I'll give him that. Remarkable technology. So versatile. I just calculated 17 different ways to end your life. All that hardware won't save you from me. I've run the numbers. You overestimate your chances. A shame you'll never understand what true power feels like. Perhaps I'll add you to my army after all. Darth Angrel would appreciate that. No. We'll kill you first. Agent Galen, still functional? Let me rectify that. Control Factor 10 initiated. <coughs> Obey me, or I'll tear your mind apart. Keep him busy, Agent. I'll do the rest. So surprised. It's our job to follow people. Agent Diaz planted a tracker on you back at headquarters. Standard operating procedure. No offense intended. Maybe some. My nose still hurts. Would have been here sooner, but getting into Imperial territory without a lightsaber is complicated. Glad I don't have to hold this base by myself. We won't be staying long. This is Black Star Squad, a special operations team. General Varsuthra pulled in a favor with General Garza. Got him here quick. We're demolishing this location. Make sure the enemy can't recover anything useful. Good. I'll stay and die with this place. Galen? You've... changed. I'm dangerous. I should be destroyed. The Sith did this to you, Galen. Make them pay. With your training and upgrades, you could inflict a lot of damage. I don't know if I can live like this. You have to. We need you. Lieutenant, prep this man for extraction. Sir, I've located the Power Guard files, including notes on how the Sith controlled them. Orders? That technology is too horrible to exist. Erase the data. I disagree completely, but I've learned better than to argue with you. You should check in with General Varsuthra. We'll be right behind you. Just need to plant the incendiary charges. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but... Goodbye. We narrowly escaped a major disaster, General. But a lot of good people died. Chief Raikin and his agents are a terrible loss. What happened to Galen? Well, at least he's alive. Just heard from Special Agent Tander. His team eradicated all trace of what happened at that Sith base. Thank you for destroying the Power Guard files. Approving that project was the biggest mistake of my career. The research was a failure. The Power Guards were no match for a Sith. Or Jedi. Another reason to put all of this behind us. The Republic's position on Nar Shaddaa is precarious at best. Better for everyone if this operation remains classified. I'm sealing all records of what happened here. You, me, and the SIS are the only ones who know the full story. Keeping secrets got people killed. The reason they died can't stay hidden. I'll file a full report with my superiors. I hope they don't drum me out of the service. I know you're probably exhausted, but the enemy hasn't given up. Neither can we. A major tactical advantage has just opened up, but you have to act quickly. One of Darth Angrel's closest advisors, Admiral Hacklin, asked us for asylum. He wants to defect. Hacklin was with Angrel when he interrogated me on Ord Mantell. They seemed chummy. What changed? I'm not sure, but the Admiral is on the run. There are unconfirmed reports Hacklin's earned a death mark. One of Darth Angrel's top men turned traitor? It's too convenient. Exactly. This is obviously a trap. Hacklin wouldn't be the first high-ranking Imperial to switch sides. Until we know otherwise, we have to believe this is real. Kira obviously made an impression on the Admiral at Ord Mantell. He says he'll only surrender to her. I have a bad feeling about this. There's no time to negotiate. Admiral Hacklin's expecting you to, and no one else. I told him to wait for you at an old asteroid mining facility. I'm uploading the coordinates now. 
Surround this asteroid mine with Republic cruisers. If this is a trap, I don't want the enemy escaping. Too risky. The Admiral might mistake it for hostile action and bolt. The mining facility is small. If this is a trap, you won't be facing more enemies than you can handle. Be careful out there. Greetings. I am Vallis. Your quick response is most appreciated. Please forgive the deception. Admiral Hacklin remains Darth Angrel's faithful servant. His name simply made this meeting convenient. He's a Sith. Kill him! Now, really, is that any way to treat your family? This won't have been a waste of time if I get to kill you. I thought Jedi were seekers of knowledge. Aren't you the least bit curious what this is about? Your Padawan isn't who you think. She's no Jedi. She's a child of the Emperor, like me. And it's time she returned to our father's warm embrace. I've never heard of any Emperor's children. Who are you people? The Chosen Ones, selected at birth to serve our father's great glory. A distinction we should wear with pride. Don't deny your true lineage. I'm not a Sith. Don't let him turn you against me. We can defeat him. Together. We have no quarrel, Jedi. Return to your ship and let Kira come home. The Emperor wills it. It doesn't matter where she came from. She's my Padawan. Tell our father not to expect any calls or letters. There's no escaping your destiny, Kira. Thanks to your little brush with Darth Angrel, the Emperor knows you're alive and where to find you. No matter where you go, Father sees you. He sees you right now. And he wants you back. I'd rather die than see him again. So be it, sister. And stay down! Thanks for sticking by me. I know this was a big shock, but I can explain. My parents were Sith, but the Emperor isn't my father. Child of the Emperor is just a title. I was taken from my parents when I was a baby. Raised in the Sith Academy with others like Vallis. It was... brutal. I can only imagine the pain you must have endured. Pain became normal. There were worse things. Every so often, the other children were taken to see our father. They came back different. Nobody ever remembered meeting the Emperor. One day, I realized I couldn't remember anything from the past week. They were doing the same thing to me. Whatever the Sith did, it's buried in your memories. We have to uncover it. I've tried. Every time I get close to the memory, it changes. It slithers away. I was still a child then. Small enough to stow away on a supply ship leaving Imperial space. Lived in lots of bad places until I met Master Coix. She brought me to the Jedi. Changed my life. Did you tell Master Coix about your past? No. How would I even begin? Uh, by the way, I was born a Sith. Is that a problem? I always knew sooner or later I'd have to come clean. Just hoped I could prove myself as a Jedi first. Now the Emperor knows where I am. The Sith will never stop hunting me. They'll take you over my dead body. I'm having a very inappropriate urge to kiss you. <laughs> but I won't. I'm ready to tell the truth. To Master Kawix, the Jedi Council, everyone. No more secrets. We should probably let the General know he's not getting his Admiral. The Admiral was never here, General. This was a trap. Last. I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way on a lie. It won't happen again. I'm afraid there's more bad news. Your Jedi Masters both missed their last two comm checks. That isn't like Master Kawix. What planet did you send her to? Tatooine. Master Orgus went to Alderaan. I need you to find out what's happened to them and our weapon labs. Understood, General. But first, I need to consult with the Jedi Council on an important matter. More important than saving the galaxy from Darth Angrel? I'd like to know what that is. Sorry, General. Jedi business. Fine, if that's how you want to play it. Angrel's still up there. May the Force be with us all. Barsuthra out.
Let's get this over with. Master Quix and Orgus need our help. I'll be meditating in my quarters. Let me know when we're at Tython. Master Satil, my mission has become more complicated. Masters Orgus and Quix have disappeared. I'm headed for Tatooine and Alderaan to find them. But first, my Padawan has something important to tell you. Kira? I was born on Droman Cause. My parents were Sith. Ooh, much easier the second time. There's more, obviously. I should hope so. Give me time to assemble the Council. Most of us are still off-world. And then my master convinced me to come here and tell you. That's pretty much everything. We've heard rumors about these children of the Emperor before. But this finally confirms their existence. Troubling that we never sensed the truth about Kira when Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Kira's master should have a voice in this. What do you recommend? The situation doesn't require a reaction. I just thought you should know the truth. And now that we know, we can't ignore the threat she represents to our entire order. To allow her to remain a Padawan, become a Jedi Knight? It's inconceivable. Is it? Did we not first learn of the children of the Emperor from a Sith turn to the light? Master Braga speaks the truth. No one is beyond redemption. It was natural for you to fear our reaction, considering your upbringing. What's important now is that you leave your past behind and devote yourself to the Jedi. Can you do that? I've been trying to ever since Master Quix found me. Kira's a good Padawan. I trust her with my life. There you have it. I need no further proof of Kira's loyalty. Agreed. And I believe the best course of action is to leave Kira where she is. This is a mistake. If Master Kawix were here, she'd tell you the same. Until she returns, this Council's ruling stands. Kira is safest in your care. I appreciate you giving her another chance. I promise I'll make you all proud. Even you, Master Caden. You did well bringing this to us, but you should return to your mission. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. Don't think I didn't notice the risk you took by standing up for me. I never felt this close to Master Kawix. Your support was... special. Anytime. I'm just glad we're staying a team. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Ready to go whenever you are, Master. <laughs>